Hi Virgo, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your love and romance general tarot reading for the month of September 2016. Please check out your moon and your rising sign as that is also generally informative. And I have shuffled and we are ready to go. Okay, Virgo, this first card is your expectations, hopes, and fears for love in the month of September. The middle card is the challenge or the obstacle to overcome. And the last card is the outcome or the realization. Hey, Virgo, so wanna wish you guys a happy birthday again. I did on the law of attraction, but you deserve a double happy birthday. Okay, so expectations, hopes, and fears. We have the beautiful Empress card here. And the Empress, Empress card is obviously, I love this card. It's very royal, strong feminine energy here. So what I feel is that Virgo, you are taking care of yourself this month. It's your birthday and you realize that regardless of love and romance, you have to take care of you. You can't love anyone else unless you are at your best, at your peak. And so I feel that that's what you're doing. Your mother could be important. This is the card of the mother, but you could be honestly mothering yourself or even mothering others. This is like the domestic goddess. So this month, I, I feel that you've really been on your game and you've been organizing your environment, you've been clearing out the clutter. It's like you're in your natural vibe this month. It's, it's, it's effortless. It's almost like you're celebrating your essence. This is also a very productive energy and it's an energy of growth. So I feel that, I feel that you're, I almost feel like this is more about you, Virgo, that you're doing the things necessary for your growth, whatever that looks like. It could be diet, it could be, like I said, cleaning and organizing. You're tapping into creative abilities. Maybe you're thinking outside the box. Maybe before in relationships or if you're dating, you were kind of set in a certain way. This is how things are, this is how they should be. But I feel that you're opening up. You're opening up to different ways of being different ways to meet people, different ideas about relationships. Um, if you're in a relationship, it could be finding more creative ways to celebrate romance with your loved one. This is a very creative and open energy. And this is about unconditional love. I feel that you're really at a place of unconditional love. So if you've been hurt in the past, if you, you know, if things haven't gone the way you had hoped in a relationship, or even if things have, Regardless, you are like, you know what? Love conquers all. And even if I can't change others, I can, I can be unconditional love to myself and I can radiate that to others. So this is an incredibly healing energy. So I feel like you're really taking care of yourself this month, Virgo. Um, your physical senses are important. So I feel that in relationship, you want to do those things. If you're in relationship or if you're single that heighten your physical senses. So smells, touches, feelings, what you listen to, what you see, you want everything to be very therapeutic this month, very healing. It's about pampering and me time. And you know, and you deserve that Virgo. You're, you're such a giver. You give, give, give. You have to take this time to indulge a little bit. I mean, that's only going to come back to others tenfold. This is also a very glamorous and wealthy card. So I feel that you're being very generous with others. Um, you, you have an open heart this month. It's like you're really embracing yourself and you're, you're feeling that luxury and the opulence of what being a Virgo is, the beauty of Virgo. This is the sign, um, it's associated with the planet Venus. So some of you could be dealing with either a Taurus or a Libra. This is the card of Libra, 
but you could also be dealing with Taurus. This is about you, you know, looking good, shopping for quality products, getting out, exercising, taking good care of yourself. Every day is a special occasion. So I just, I feel that you're really celebrating yourself first and foremost this month. And that is naturally going to benefit those around you, Virgo. It's like you are really as a kind of mother earth, you're really enjoying all of the fruits of being who you are. And that's going to naturally flow out to the world. And this is a very, you know, enjoying pleasures. So for some of you in relationship, you are feeling more sensual, more wanting to connect physically with your lover and touch and being demonstrative of your love is also important here. Okay. The challenge. <laughs> There's still something lurking Virgo, isn't there? Because we have the four of cups for the challenge. This tells me that your emotions are still being challenged and it could be you have a strong water energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio, or this could just be you, your emotions. We're talking about you here. The challenge for some of you, and maybe that's why you're really taking care of yourself is that you could be just kind of bored bored with where things have been at relationally. Maybe you're single and you know, there's really not been too much excitement on the dating scene. And so you're just kind of like, huh, I'm just going to do my own thing. Or if you're in a relationship, you you're trying to be more creative to spice things back up. you you want more excitement for some of you. The challenge is still being, you know, you can see this character here, this person, they're still looking down they're still dwelling on something or there's a temptation to be, to withdraw, to withdraw from a relationship or withdraw from someone else to be kind of disillusioned by love to almost, there can be a feeling of depression or sadness. Like what, you know, they're dwelling on these three cups when there's this amazing cup right here. It can also just be a feeling of, being unaware. Maybe you have a lot of admirers around you, but you're not even paying attention. You're like, no, I'm going to dwell over here. Like, this is what I'm really looking for. But there's like these, all these admirers trying to hunt you down. This is a daydreaming energy. It's also fantasizing about something else. And it's also a very philosophical card. So I feel that Virgo, you are definitely analyzing. You are definitely thinking, you're thinking about life. You're thinking about love. What does that mean to you? Um, what, what is relationship? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? Where have you gone? Where have you been and where are you going? This is also like being very idealistic and expecting a lot from a situation and just kind of disappointed. Maybe you're in a relationship and it's just not turning out to be all that you had expected it to be. Even though I feel that you're really putting in new patterns and ways of life, there's still a temptation here to withdraw, to want to just be alone. I mean, this person's alone, want to be alone with your thoughts still needing to meditate on a situation in order to know if there are changes that need to be made because you're really wanting to feel emotionally stable. That's what I'm getting. You're really doing your best to get back to a balanced, stable place. Whatever this was in the past, it, it left you feeling dejected and even bitter. And so it, there's a temptation to fight these feelings. The other way this can affect you Virgo is maybe you have not withdrawn. Maybe your partner has withdrawn from the relationship and someone is hard to reach. So this could be physically withdrawn emotionally or even mentally. And someone is, or has been displaying kind of like a coldness or aloofness kind of off in their own world, hard to reach. And even if you have tried to re-engage your partner, some of those efforts have been either ignored or just outrightly dismissed. And so that could leave you kind of going, what the heck? I feel like, you know, you're, you're questioning why, why someone else has not treated you the way that you treated them. 
Um, why did you deserve such treatment? And so that's where you're kind of fluctuating with moods here. But what this card talks about is that you haven't done anything wrong, Virgo. Um, that this is not even a personal issue, that if this is someone else, it's probably their own thing that they're going through and it really has nothing to do with you. Um, but it is a challenge to not take this personally. Your partner might be going through a personal crisis and so I'm happy and proud of you for taking care of yourself here. Okay, so by the end of the month here, for some of you, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So another very strong water energy. And I, I feel like this is you, Ergo. Um, so what I feel is happening here is that you mentally, this is where you want to be. And this is the steps that you're taking, but there's still something that's bothering you. And by the end of the month there, you know, I don't feel the issue is going to be completely, completely resolved. The eight of cups reverse is like, you're kind of in some area you're stagnated. You are choosing to stay put um emotionally and there's going to be a challenge here and you know this everyone has free choice so you don't have to stay at this place but but emotionally you still have some issue to resolve there's something still emotionally affecting you this can even be pretending to be happy so on the outside maybe everyone thinks you're happy and everything's fine but it's like an avoidance to, to face it and to deal with it. And at the root of this is a lack of self-esteem and a lack of self-worth. It's also something emotionally from the past that's affecting some of you. It's a refusing to move on, a refusing to move forward. It can also be, if in, and this could also not be you, Virgo. Maybe you are on top of things and you're dealing with a partner that has a fear of commitment, a fear of abandonment. Um, this is a very clingy energy. It can also be someone that has a fear of change, is really f afraid to confront change. So you could be the strong one here, Virgo. You're dealing with a partner that's, that's kind of absent and aloof and you know, by the end of the month, they're kind of still struggling with making any positive changes. So for some, this is the card of abandonment issues. And it can be the, at the root of unhappiness of either you or your partner. Um, it can be, you know, sabotaging relationships because you're always worrying about your partner leaving you. Or it can be your partner being the one that's overly clingy or needy. This is about loving too much, Virgo. And it can actually make someone else feel claustrophobic. And then if they leave, it makes you feel like you're always going to be abandoned or that no one loves you or that no one wants to commit to you. So this, this is about, regardless if this is you or your partner, there are some deeper emotional issues I feel that need to be looked at. This is also about not wanting to face the issue, wanting to run from a difficult situation instead of really dealing with the issues that it exposes. And it's also about chasing a dream that's never really going to materialize. So what I feel is happening is, is that you're really, you want to move forward, Virgo. You know that, you know, life is short. You want to be your best self. And I feel that you are intentionally choosing that. But for some of you, there's going to be an issue from the past or a partner that, or even yourself that has to be dealt with emotionally. And you know, everyone makes changes and growth at their own pace. And so I feel that you really are striving to take care of yourself. And that is the first step. Um, and when you are ready to either face these situations or do it at your own pace. So I really hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to the channel. That's gonna make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Virgo, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.